Hey, it's Levi Bloom from Bloom Bike Shop, and today we're going to conquer probably the most common bike repair that you can do, and that is fixing a flat tire. So the first thing you want to do is get your wheel with the flat tire, and make sure all the air is out to make it easier to work with. And what we want to do is take the tire off of the rim. So we're going to do that by starting at the valve and we're going to create slack in the tire by pushing the bead into the center of the rim. And we're just going to keep pulling that as tight as it goes to create as much slack in there as we can at the other side. And that is what will allow us to get the tire off of the rim. So you just work down to this end and start to pull the tire off. And you don't necessarily need tire levers, but sometimes you do. So you'll take your tire lever and just kind of stick it under the bead and pull the bead out to the side of the rim. And then you start pushing the tire lever along and then just use your hand to push the bead out. Use your left hand to be pushing the bead out to the right side and then you can just kind of run your tire lever along there. And then once that's popped out you can easily remove your tube. Just start pulling the old tube out and then you want to make sure you remember to check for the cause of the flat tire. And that's one of the most important things to do because if you end up having a piece of glass stuck in your tire and then you go and you put a fresh tube in there, it's just going to get flat. So, you check your tube and say for example I found a hole right here, I will just line the tube up with the tire and then look here and I might find a thorn or a tack or something. And if I find that, I just take it out and get rid of it. And if the hole is on the other side of the tube, you can check to make sure that there's not a sharp edge on a spoke hole or anything in the rim. So once you get the tube out and figure out what caused the leak, uh, you can just get rid of that tube. And then we're going to get a new tube and put it in. Uh, we'll just grab this tube we have here, and one thing you want to do is make sure you put some baby powder on it, like so. And that baby powder will allow the tube to float in the tire nicely so it doesn't get stuck, and it'll help prevent pinch flats. So then you just have your tire like so, lay the tube back in there, stick the valve stem down in the valve hole, and then just kind of start dropping your tube right back in the tire. And then shove it in and make sure you get it in there. Because the last thing you want to do is pinch the tube between the tire and the rim and get another flat as you're changing one. So once you get that in there, you will start at the valve stem and push the bead of the tire back into the rim. And you want to start right there and then work your way out from there. And you're going to be doing about the same thing you did last time by pushing the two tire beads into the center of the rim where it's a little lower and that'll let you create the most slack as you go around. And it's pretty easy on the sides until you get to the last part. And when you're at the last part, that's where your thumb strength really comes into play. Along with your technique of getting the beads, just push them right into the center and then just keep downward pressure on that to make sure they stay in there instead of popping out. And then that should give you some slack when you get down here the end to use your thumbs and press the tire over the rim. 
like that, and it'll snap into place. And then, just kind of, you can fondle the tire a little bit, make sure the tube is in there nicely, and get your pump. And then you want to pump it up. And you just want to put a little bit of air in there just to give the tube some shape. And go around and make sure that the bead is properly seated. And then you go ahead, hold the tire there and put your pump on. And then just start pumping up your tire and hope that you fix the flat. And if it pumps up nicely like that, then you should be good to go.